Hello, my name is Jason Brown and today I'm going to be explaining how to use ISO files. So when you download software from the DreamSpark store, you're going to notice that you're downloading a file that looks a little bit like this. Now what is this file? Well basically what this is, is an ISO file. Basically it's the whole of the uh, Windows 8.1, in this case DVD, in one single file, which makes it really handy to download because you're only downloading one file and of course there are hundreds and hundreds of files on the Windows 8.1 DVD. So you can see that it's 3.63 gigabytes in size which means that it's a DVD image because a DVD image will contain up to 4.7 gigabytes of data and a CD only 700 megabytes and in order to install the software from this ISO image what you normally need to do is actually burn this ISO image to a CD or a DVD. Now, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can simply right click on this and then click burn image disk and then the Windows disk image burner pops up. Now, this comes included with Windows 7 and Windows 8 and it's really uh, very simple to use. You just select the drive that your disk burner is, D. You put a blank 4.7 gigabyte DVD in there to burn this particular DVD image and then you click burn. And that's pretty much all you need to do. You just need to wait for that. Then once the DVD is burned, you can put the DVD back into your computer and voila, the software will install. You can't simply copy the ISO file onto a DVD and click write, that won't work. What you need to do is you need to actually burn the ISO to the DVD using the Windows Disk Image Burner. If you currently have Windows XP or Vista installed on your computer, you will notice that if you try to right click on the ISO file to burn it to a DVD, there won't be the option to. This is because to burn ISO files with XP and Vista, or older, you will need to download software to burn images since these operating systems don't include an image burner like 7 and 8 do. What I recommend you do is download and install CD Burner XP or Image Burn. These are the free programs that you can use to burn the ISO image. Download links to these programs will be in the video description below. Once you've installed one of these programs, you can right click on the ISO image, go to properties and then make the program you downloaded and install the default one for opening ISO files. Then what you can do is double click on the ISO file to open it, then click burn or similar in the program you installed to burn the ISO image to a DVD. Sometimes you're going to be downloading software from DreamSpark that you do need to burn to a DVD in order to install it. For example, Windows 8.1 or any operating system such as Windows 7, you probably do need to burn that to a DVD in order to install the software because it just makes installing Windows so much easier. But there's some software that you don't need to really burn to a DVD in order to install it. For example, what I have here is an ISO Visual Studio Ultimate 2013 from DreamSpark. I don't want to burn this to a DVD because quite frankly I think that would be a waste of a DVD. I mean, why would I do that when I just want to install this software and I don't need to boot off the CD or DVD in order to install it? If you don't want to burn the ISO to a CD or a DVD in order to install the software and you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, on some computers I've seen you can actually double click on the ISO image and there you go, all the files that are inside it are here. So let's right click on the desktop, create a new folder and let's call it Visual Studio 2013 and then what we can simply do is we can copy all of the files in here into this new folder here in order to um, be able to install the software without burning it to a CD or a DVD. Now if you can't do that on your computer or you have Windows Vista or older then what I recommend you do is you go and download a program called 7-Zip. Now if you have WinRAR you can also uh, use that but 7-Zip is free to download and install. Now there's two editions of 7-Zip, there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit. If you don't know if you have a 32 or 64 bit operating system, just grab the 32 bit one since it will work on both. But I know for sure that I have 64 bit, so I'm just going to download this and install it. Okay, and then once it's finished, you can click finish. And then all you need to do in order to extract the files from this ISO to install it without burning it to a DVD is right click, go to 7zip, 
and then go to extract files and that's going to put all of the files from this ISO into a completely separate folder usually uh, with the same name as the ISO then you're going to click OK and depending on the speed of your computer this may take a few minutes but it shouldn't take too long at all okay then so once that's done you can simply click in the folder here and then you can see all of the files that are on the ISO image and then in this case to install Visual Studio Ultimate all I need to do is click on this file here and then that's going to get the uh, setup going so that would be how you install software from DreamSpark without actually having to burn the ISO to a CD or a DVD if you don't have one or if you don't want to burn the ISO so thank you very much for watching my video I hope you found it helpful